knife detector here and today I thought I would compare these two very very similar knives in fact they border on identical and I'm sure if it was up to old timer Schrade you know they would want you to believe that they were identical but we're going to take a look at these two BUTs right here and these are two hefty customers let me tell you some people call these you know sunfish knives too because of the shape you know but uh this is a Schrade old timer 510 ot ot for old time so this behemoth of a knife this gorgeous knife right here uh was redone and one of these knives is the vintage one that was made between the years of, I believe it was 1977 and 1981, if I'm not mistaken. It might be 82, I'm not sure. Um, so one of these is the older version, and one of these is the newer version. Now, this newer version I just bought recently on the eBay store eCup. Uh, I'm sure some of you guys probably are familiar with that. You might have bought knives and gear from them before. But I bought one of these from ecop and the other one i bought on ebay a while back now i had originally always wanted an original one of these and probably oh i'd say maybe what 10 15 years ago i bought a more modern version and when i lifted up the modern version it felt lighter it did not feel like i expected it to and it did not feel like something I wanted to hold on to. So I sold it. I got rid of it. Ended up getting more money for it than I paid for it. This one, well, I'm not going to tell you which one yet. I'm sure you guys can tell by looking at it which one is the older one and which one is the modern one, right? But we're going to take a look at the differences of these. And I'm going to let you guys decide as we talk about it what the differences are. First thing, let's take a look at the color and the hue and the materials right we're going to look at that right off the bat right here where they sit i'm not going to move them just yet so here we have this type of delrin that seems to have turned a little bit brown right here around the edges now that is a characteristic of old timer knives that i really love the 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 1250 the 1250t old timers the the old timers that are like the folding hunters, the large folding hunters, you know, even the some of the older trappers and the older stockmen. If you've had them for a lot of years, the Delrin tends to turn this nice burnt orangey color. I love that about them. And I really love the Delrin and the socket Delrin on these knives, right? So this one has that brown color. That might already be an indicator to you of which one's the older one, which one's the newer one, right? Let's take a look at this one. This one doesn't have that brownish, orangish tint right here. It kind of looks more like a mocha latte, if you know what I mean. It kind of looks like more like a chocolate or chocomil or chocolate. Those of you guys that are familiar with uh, some chocolate or, if you will, abuelita chocolate. Which, by the way, if you haven't had abuelita hot chocolate, you know, you got to get you some abuelita, which is uh, Spanish for grandmother, hot chocolate, right? Delicious stuff. But it kind of looks like that, kind of like a chocolate milk kind of color. Still have that real nice deep saw cut Delrin, right? And uh, we have a lockback design. Notice that on this one right here, there's a little hump on that lockback right there on the spring. See the little hump? It's not present on this one. It's real smooth, right? Notice a different color on the bolster. Uh, notice that this has a more brass colored and this has a more nickel silver color. So interesting, right? Let's pick these up. So I'm sure you can tell this is the newer one by, by now, right? Let's look at the bolster in there. Notice how I believe that is brass and we have brass liners and check out the spacing. Tolerances are but pretty good, you know, and uh, not perfect by any means, but pretty good. And notice there's a little bit of a spacing issue right, issue right there where the Delrin or plastic meets the bolster. Now, by contrast, let's put that down. Let's take a look at the old timer original. This has a few scratches because remember, this thing is about, eh, it's about 40 years old. Now, look at that. Those tolerances are much better on this older one. Tolerances are just almost nil on this one. It's just gorgeous, right? Again, right now the original is ahead on points, and the bolster is a nickel silver. And notice we still do have the brass liners, right? Another thing I want you to notice is let's take a look at the thickness of the spring. Now it's almost negligible, but if you look at the thickness of the spring, 
the original old timer is just a smidge, a micro millimeter thicker than that of the modern version. It's just a wee bit thicker, you know? You can probably notice it more when you're looking at this, the, the button for the, for the lock back there for the spring. It's just a smidge thicker. Another difference is uh, the butt or the bare head part, you know, uh, because there's no bolster on this side, right? Notice how on the vintage model, it's a little bit more rounded, a little bit more rounded. And, uh, well, actually, no, opposite that. On the modern model, it's a way more rounded. And on the vintage model, it's just a wee bit blocky, although it is smooth to the touch. Now, another thing is that the Delrin on this one is uh, a bit more, you know, you can feel it. It's deep, right? And on this one, it's much smoother. It's almost like it was worked a lot. Or maybe this was pocket carried for a while and it smoothed out. I don't have no way of knowing, um, but I want to say that that's just the way they made it from the manufacturer. They smoothed it out a little bit. Could be that it's moved out with pocket carry, but this is a little bit rougher, which is good if you want to get a good grip on it. Notice neither of them have, uh, have a nail nick, right? But notice how the blade on the newer model sticks out a little bit more. Let's see if there's a reason for that. So look at the fat blade on the new one. There you have 51 OT. Look at that belly. I haven't seen a nicer belly than that since the last time I looked in the mirror a short while ago when I took a shower. Uh, that is a nice looking belly right there, guys. It really is. Now let's take a look at the belly on uh, the older model. And let's compare. Notice that the belly on the newer model is just a wee bit more rounded. A little bit more rounded, guys. And I have a feeling that... Uh, this might have gone a little bit of sharpening, but not much. Those are some light scratches on this. I think it's very close to just uh, the same way it was. I don't think this has lost, lost much of the blade at all. I think this is a, like a 99% of the blade is still there. I think that they just made the newer version a bit more rounded. And I have to tell you, I kind of like it, right? I really like that rounder belly. Uh, you guys know I am a fan of the belly. So um, check this out right here. Notice how the bolsters also appear to be, it almost looks as though the bolster on the newer model is just a little bit wider. Yeah, let's look at the pins. See how nice and smooth on the older model these pins are sunken in? And on this new one, they kind of stick out a little bit. Not on this one, real smooth. This one sticks out a little bit, see that? Yeah, the newer one, it's rounded. On the, on the older one, I'm sorry, it's rounded. On the newer one, it's uh, it's not sunken in, and it's a little bit rougher, you know. So as far as fit and finish, I have to say that uh, the older model is still going to come out on top uh, if it were up to me. The older model wins it out. Uh, nothing beats the classics, you know. As far as fit and finish go, uh, the older model to me is just a more attractive knife. You know, and if you can afford it, then please go with the older model, in my opinion. Uh, of course, the older model is probably going to cost you northwards of around uh, $75 or more. I've seen some go as high as $300 on eBay. I have seen some go as low as $50 on eBay. I ended up paying $70 for this one. I sold a couple of knives for this one. Now, this bad boy, I got for $20 on eCop. 20 macaroons, 20 simoleons, 20 dinare, 20 dollars, 20, 20, 20. Can you imagine the price difference? Anyway, I have to tell you, for 20 bucks, this knife right here, even though it's not as good as the original, it is almost as good as the original. If this was 100% of everything that I wanted, this one right here, is probably 98% of everything that I wanted. Now comes the other test. Let's check the weight of these bad boys. I wanna know how close it is in weight because I'm thinking the Delrin on this is a little thicker, but the steel on this, there's a little bit more steel on the spring. And I don't even know what's heavier, if it's nickel silver or brass. So let's check this out and let's see what happens. So. Just so happens, my wife bought this little scale, which I'm still learning how to use. So let's see what we got here. We're going to turn it on. 
and it's going to read sorry for the glare there amigos Let's see if i can move this aside yeah it's on ounces already so let's start off with the new one the modern one 5.8 ounces 5.8 ounces on the modern one you know that is still lighter than a buck 110 a buck 110 will weigh about 7.2 to 7.5 ounces now let's try the new one what do you think think it's going to be heavier lighter let's see 6.5 ounces guys 6.5 ounces and the other one i believe was 5.8 5.8 and this one is 6.5. So it is about ooh, a little more than a half ounce heavier going to the old man over here. The older one is a little bit heavier. And I suspected that from the very beginning simply because it has more steel on it, I think. Now, am I going to say that the newer model is no good? Heck no. That is a great knife. And if I recall, this even seems like it's better to me than the version that I bought about 10, 15 years ago. So I think they must have done some improvements on it. Yeah. Here you see it still says old timer right there. Yeah. And here, let's look at this one. Old timer right there. Still facing the same direction, except this one has a brass colored and this one has a nickel silver colored. So you can look at it like this. You can have a brass colored one. You can have the nickel silver colored one. You can collect both. This one only says Schrade. This one says Schrade USA 510T. Let me see if it says anything underneath it over here. Uh, nah, it's just a little dirty. USA 510T. Now, of course, as you would expect, um, this one doesn't say it. It says 510T in the back, Schrade in the front. I, I believe this one's made in China. I believe that's what I saw in the box when I opened it. But uh, you know how that goes. All right, guys. This has been another episode of Knife Detector. I hope you guys learned a couple of things about differences on these two knives when you're making your decision whether or not you want to buy an original or if you're okay with the copy. Uh, not the, it's not really a copy. It is also an old timer. Um, however, this is the modern version and this is the older version. So it's a matter if you want something a little bit more orangey and uh, kind of burnt or if you would like the mochaccino in my opinion, right there. So that's been the Knife Detector, guys. Hope you guys got a kick out of this video. It's Monday morning or Monday afternoon. This video comes out on a Monday. Y'all take care. God bless you, my friends. If you like what you see, please like and subscribe. I recently got two giveaways done. And uh, another congratulations going out to David Curley and also to Stuart Harvey. Y'all guys uh, won my last two giveaways. You know, as my, as my viewers increase, I'm going to have more videos uh, coming up. Uh, I'm going to try and have them out on Monday mornings and Friday mornings, mornings mostly. Uh, I'm going to have more uh, video giveaways also, more knife giveaways, sorry, as my videos progress. So hang with me as... Uh, Pete over at Jersey Knife Guy would say, I got videos on all types of knives. Uh, gosh, my channel is just like a box of chocolates. You never know what you're going to get, guys. Y'all take care now.